could be any high school. I don't have any special resources. Um, and my com the computers aren't any better than any other people's computers. Uh, this classroom, if I know you've looked around this classroom, is not exactly the most beautiful classroom. This is a sort of somewhat dilapidated portable. <laughs> so, but, you know, so it's, it's not the facilities. It, it, what it really is, it's again, it's the caring, it's the atmosphere, it's the culture. It's the culture of belonging and caring and respecting students and their opinions and their rights to speak out and, and encouraging that, encouraging people to speak out. Um, those kids that are sitting there timidly, they don't want to be timid. They just haven't ever had anybody help them not be timid. And it really, it's an empowering thing. Let's just face it, we go out into the world, you can't be timid in this world. And if you are, you suffer. And, you know, I'm just trying to, t so one of the things I said in um, my freshman class was, I said, what I'd like to teach them really is how to, how to complain in a socially appropriate manner. You know, how to, com if something isn't going right, let's hear about it, you know. Don't just sit there and suffer. Tell me, you know, t and, and I'm never going to get mad, you know. So not only that, you can tell me three times or how many times you need to tell me. But I think it's the culture, it's the atmosphere, it's the acceptance of no matter, you know, where you're coming from, who you are, you know, everybody has something special about them. And I think that that's the thing that, that everyone needs to understand. And there are just too many, um, there's a lot of people out there that are running into a lot of regulations of exactly how to teach and books you have to use and this that you have to do and and um, and they don't individualize they don't differentiate the I basically try to make sure that okay it doesn't work for you this thing well let's let's try something else getting to the same goal that works for you and I think that teachers everywhere can do this uh, I think the testing the testing really does a disservice to the country because a lot of teachers are afraid that their kids won't score high enough and so they teach a curriculum that neither the kids like nor they like and I can tell you anybody can walk into a room and sense just sense without talking to anybody that people in that classroom are not happy you know we all have that sixth sense and so if, if you're forcing all this on and it doesn't work, well, there we have the problem and we have the kids dropping out and you have the teachers, you know, 75% of the teachers quit after five years. I didn't know if you knew that. Dropout rate among teachers is really high. Um, so it's not that we can't attract teachers, it's just we can't keep teachers. And, uh, and then, of course, they're being attacked, unfortunately. You know, the testing that they have going right now is really testing of the teachers, not testing of the students. So um, hmm. I think that that's, that's what it is. It's the culture here that makes the big difference. And um, so I'd like to emphasize, and anybody can do it if they set the right goals and have the right attitude.